Well hello everybody, this is Mr. Zombie UK um, bringing you the much awaited LP now, I've been wanting to do this game for absolutely ages and finally got a version of Resident Evil 2 that actually works for the uh, PlayStation emulator that I have um, I'm kind of playing this in between playing another one of my LPs which is uh, Silent Hill 3 so I decided I was going to play this one um, as I haven't played it for a long time and I thought it's, it's well overdue um, this is the DualShock version. Um, as you can see, it's got an arranged game, which is rookie. I don't know what's going on with the emulator here, but it's pretty much the same game, but just with more ammo and easier monsters. So I'm not going to play that version. I'm going to play the original game. Uh, first of all, I just want to check the sound. Yeah, should be okay. Even though, sorry, I just wanted to check it was stereo, even though it says there's stereo there. And, uh, let's go. So we're going to go to original game and normal. I don't know what's going on with that. Normal. <coughs> I always start off with Leon's scenario first, because I find that Leon and then Claire are the easiest ones to run through. Uh, those are the ones I'm most, most familiar with. So let's go. Oh dear, he's got a real bad stutter. Like I said, I've had to play around to get this version working, so you'll have to forgive these little tiny bits. I may... I may cut this bit and do it again, just this tiny bit here. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. <laughs> For those that remember it, I blew the hell out of that building. Here it comes again! No. Yeah, sorry about that. Luckily it hasn't affected the full motion videos, so that's good. I know there's quite a lot of Let's Plays out there at the moment for this game, but I thought I'd give it my spin on it. Give it the Mr. Zombie UK spin. Well, it's a zombie game, and, you know, it fits. What have we got here? And enter Mr. Leon S. Kennedy. The stupidest rookie ever. Because he was hungry. You taste like chicken. Oh. Man, what a mess. What could have done this? What was that? What are these things? All right, that's far enough. Don't move. <laughs> no! <laughs> Twitcher. What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. 
stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Yeah, you will. That's what you think, anyway. Ooh. Keeps flickering. It's funny, Resident Evil 2 has all sorts of glitches when you try to emulate it. So I try to iron out as many as I can. Ten points to you. I've just noticed something. Her lips don't actually sync to her talking. It's like she's a puppet or something. Someone's in the back just with a hand up at the top or something. Just oh, that's bad. So, anyway. You open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Yep. <laughs> rule number two, check the back seat. If anyone's seen Zombieland, those rules are absolutely flawless. Double tap, check behind the back seat, buckle up. They were parted by an unescapable destiny. This is just the beginning of their worst nightmare. <laughs> Zombies! Ah. Okay, let's see how we do with this one. Hello. You'll never come back here again, so there's no point wasting ammo. <clears throat> now I try and avoid as many kills as I can, as you might have noticed from Resident Evil 1. <laughs> this is the best line. <laughs> A minus one for stupidity. Because they all run around carrying guns. Right. Can I grab oh dear. Can I grab the ammo back here to trigger. I'm not going for this special key, clearly. <coughs> Let's see if I can grab the gun before I get grabbed. Oop, looks like it's not going to happen, actually. That might have just helped me out here. That's okay, I don't mind taking one hit from those dudes. Just to get the shotgun. And then, grab these other bullets, seeing as I'm not going to come back here. Yeah, because I'm not getting the special key, it doesn't really matter. <coughs> nah. Don't really mind not getting the special key. Doesn't really make the game go any quicker. Right. This seems like a waste of effort and bullets. But it just means that I don't have to waste time dodging these guys in a minute. There's only one dude that comes out and I can pretty much floor him. There you go. So I just grab the bullets back here. And the little trick I learned with this dude. Two shots to the feet. And he's down. Just little things to help the game. They're not necessary. You can try the dodge trick, you know, where you bump into one and he knocks back both. I don't generally use that one because I always die. 
that seems to work for me quite well. Yay, down the steps we go. It's a real shame because this is quite nice scenery and you never get to see it again. Unless you really want to come back here, which you can't. Right, so let's double tap this. Get that dude down. One. Two. Three. Easy peasy. Got the four guys om nom and on that guy. Well, we missed it. Don't really need to worry about them. You, I, I'm, I'm trying not to, uh, try not to talk like an idiot, but I'm just trying to give you a bit of a running commentary as to the best tactics for these particular areas. Oh, that was a bit close. Oh crap, that was too close. Stampy, stampy. Oh shit. Same tactic with you. Two hits to the leg, leg it past. Made a mistake with that woman on the floor. I should have shot her first. Okay, this is the fun part. Oh dear. Oopsie. So I don't mind it. It's only one hit. I usually don't take a hit in that area. Which is quite surprising for me actually. I think I'm becoming a bit lazy. Right, so I'm just going to do the stairs. I know there's nothing down here, but this is a shorter way of going through rather than... At the top there, there's a few zombies milling around. You'll probably get to see them in a sec. I just don't want to faff around with them. Check this out. This is a bit of a secret. I wonder if I can do it. No. Uh, I'll show you. I'll try